so today we are looking at the axos so here is the boot menu of uh, axos so this is awesomeness edition so i already made the kde plasma edition so if you want to check that out you can check it out in my channel so let's quickly boot it in a live boot so i'm running it on a virtual machine which is a vmware with 60 gb of hard disk 8 gb of ram and my cpu is i5 1240p so i'm going to give you a disclaimer uh, because there will be some mistaken and uh, mistaken throughout the videos because i'm going to keep the video as raw as possible so i'm going to trim the booting process which will be like uh, taking like a two or three minutes i'm going to trim that part and i'm going to keep the rest of the video like that so we, so there will be some mistakes and misspeaking try to ignore all those things and i should be getting all the content so let's wait for two or three minutes to load up the desktop layout and uh, we can make a video on that so here is the axos desktop so we need to change the some of the settings let's try the display settings so let me keep it like this and uh, let's click on options so here are all the options you get editor music files and all those things here is the search here is the screenshot you can screenshot here click on escape to exit so here are some of the features which is a uh, live boot here are some uh, music and uh, some other features available right here so date and time so let me try to open the browser and uh, let me show you the official website and the downloading process if the browser will be opened so usually the browser should take like a maybe 15 to 20 seconds to load up let's see how much of time it takes again this is not a stable iso file so they they even said that it's not a stable uh, desktop edition i'm going to show everything right now so let's first check the uh, browser information which is uh, let me close this here is the version 127.0.2 so i accidentally closed the browser so let me open the browser again so here is the browser let me type in about support about support and hit enter so here is some of the distro information and the browser information you just need to pause the video and read everything vision it's an arch linux you already saw that in the boot menu so here is the operating system theme which is advaita and when you scroll it down you should be seeing some features and other information you just need to pause the video and uh, read everything on your own like you need to screw keep on scrolling to get all the information so let me scroll it again so the window protocol is a x11 and the desktop environment is awesome i thought it was like an awesomeness but it's an awesome so here are some other information so if you don't find this as uh, important information you can just skip this part and go to the official website which will be in a few seconds so this is the all the information you get from the browser and some of the from distro information let's type in the search term ax os linux and i'm using a vpn so that's the reason there is some random language here so the, here is the link here is the github page let me close it so here is the information so as you can see ax os the linux experience enhancer I already showed the KDE Plasma desktop environment video so if you want to check that out you can check it out in my channel. So here is some of the other uh, desktop environment which is awesome. When you click on download after reading everything, here you should be getting the two editions which is a Plasma edition. It says more stable, more features and more customizable and uh, more user friendly. You can click on download for the KDE Plasma before downloading you need to watch my video so you can see properly everything whether to use that uh, kd plasma version or this version so the awesome edition is better design more performance more advanced tiling window manager 
so here is another thing which is a uh, note this version is unstable we have pretty much already said everything in the official website so click on download whatever you want before that you need to watch the videos and then go with the downloads so here is the 24.06 which is the latest version which was three weeks ago here is the iso file and the source code and the all those things this version is unstable install at your own risk so that's the reason i already mentioned you need to watch the video if you're satisfied then go with the testing and all those things and when you're trying to testing you need to first go with the live boot or the in the virtual machine to get all the things and then go with the installation if you want so here is the iso file and now let me show you the kde plasma uh, downloading process click on the kde plasma download and it will take directly here 24.03 patch 1 march uh, 22 xos release 24.03 and here are the key highlights and some other information and when you scroll it down you should be seeing the download here which is from april 9th click on the download it's 1.73 gb and here is the downloads so let me close it so we pretty much got everything from there and uh, let's see all this uh, here is the volume here is the temperature battery here is the cpu i think this is a fan the wi-fi bluetooth volume night shift i think night light something like that i think this is uh, some power options and here is the notifications let's open the terminal and let's try to put some commands and see whether it will work or not here is some information if you want you can close it let me type in inxi so let's try the neofetch neofetch is also not pre-installed let's see the kernel so you get the 6.9.7 let me type in again unm.r and you get the 6.9.7 arch cat colon slash etc colon slash issue so axos let me type in some other commands unm i unm yes unim v unim o and let's see the head stop so nothing exists so you don't get uh, pretty much anything in the awesome edition you already know the awesome desktop environment so you should be seeing all those things so you can't even open the files music the text editor let's see what else we can open so there is nothing to open here so you pretty much get this much things in the awesome edition so it already said it says uh, like a unstable edition so you pretty much don't get anything you can refresh you can try to log out let's see the logout screen so here is the logout screen and you don't get any other session other than the awesome here is the language selection i think the password should be live it's live and uh, here is the desktop loaded completely restart shutdown shutdown edit configuration so there is nothing uh, to show in this uh, awesome edition so i thought there will be something in the awesome edition but there is nothing so if you want to try to test it you can test it and uh, you can install anything uh, by using the terminal i'm not going to do anything because i want to show you everything which you get in the default so that's the reason here is the video so the video is pretty much short because there is nothing to show here so that's the reason it's uh, nothing so here is the workspaces and i think i'm i'm going to end the video here because of nothing so i'm going to shut it down and end the video and i will be posting another video because i will be posting two videos daily 
so if you want to watch that video you can watch that video after this video so pretty much my thoughts are the on the uh, axos awesome edition it's better to go with the uh, uh kd plasma and the, even in the kd plasma so i'm not going to say anything about the kd plasma in this video i already made a video and i said all the thoughts in that uh, axos kd plasma video so if you want to check that out you can check it out and i'm going to end the video here again thanks for watching peace out